Thank you, Mr. Chair. I rise to offer amendment number 37 on behalf of my colleague from Colorado, Representative Polis. Mr. Chair, as we continue to see global temperatures rise and extreme weather events like wildfires become more prevalent, it is imperative that Congress take action to help reduce these threats. This amendment would increase funds for hazardous fuels management activities by an additional $10 million in order to mitigate the threats of wildfires and help save lives. This program reduces dangerously high fuel loads and helps restore and improve the health and resiliency of our forests. Managing hazardous fuel loads is critical to protecting the American public from wildfires, providing for fire safety, and preserving our nation's natural resources. Fuel treatments provide safer conditions and more strategic options for firefighters. In the 2016 fiscal year, the Forest Service funded and helped conduct fuels treatment on more than 3.2 million high priority acres nationwide. This included 2.1 million acres on areas with populated communities, high fire areas where the Forest Service could alleviate the risk more effectively. Assessments of fuel treatments effectiveness show that 91% of treatments were effective in changing fire behavior and or helping to control wildfire. Despite this progress, the Forest Service estimates that there are millions of acres at high risk of wildfires, including some that are adjacent to communities. We must make investments in hazardous fuel programs that have demonstrated effectiveness in reducing wildfire risk and continue to prioritize treatments in the highest priority areas to protect lives, property, and watersheds. As the representative for the Central Coast in California, I can tell you we are no strangers to wildfires. This year alone, my district witnessed the devastating impacts of the Thomas and Holiday fires. The Thomas fire became the largest fire in California's history, burning nearly 282,000 acres in Ventura and Santa Barbara counties, and later triggering mudslides that tragically claimed the lives of 23 individuals in my district. We, should, we can take action to prevent wildfires, and we should. We know it pays to be prepared, and we know that for every dollar spent on mitigation activities, we save $6 in return. Mr. Polis's amendment is a common sense measure that would help provide sufficient funds to ensure that we are protecting lives and property from the threats of wildfires. I urge my colleagues to support this amendment. I reserve the balance.